So I don't know about you guys, but I'm always like usually really cold and wrapping myself in blankets. Um, and I do this quite often at work where I'm like wrapped up, walking around, looking like a burrito. Not that there's anything wrong with looking like a burrito, but it's just not as practical. Or maybe it is, but who knows? I think it's not practical. I'm going to see what I can make out of this old blanket. It's quite long with my sewing machine. Let's get playing with that. Now, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to make out of this blanket, but more importantly, I'm not quite sure what I was doing in that clip. So, I decided to lay it down on the ground and see if I can come up with some ideas on what to make. So I've been sitting here for a while trying to think what I'm going to do with this fabric because it is kind of large. It's big, actually pretty comfortable. I got it from Ikea. I don't think they sell this anymore. Almost feels like wool. But I gotta figure out measurements. Actually, I have a pencil. That's not a ruler. I have my ruler here. I gotta figure out what it is that I want to do. I don't know if I want to do a poncho, I want to do a sweater. So that's the first thing that I should try to figure out. What do I want to do? Um, but I should start to try and make measurements. Because if I'm not making any measurements, I'm not doing anything at this point. And as you can tell, at this point, I'm still not quite sure what I'm actually going to be making out of this blanket. But the first step is to start taking measurements to make sure I have enough fabric to work with so that I can make something out of it to keep me warm. I'm just eyeballing it. Hopefully this works. I'm going to do it by half. I think that works-ish. I think I want pockets. I think I know what I'm doing. I think. Oops. Oh no, my ruler is starting to chip. Now that I've taken my measurements, I finally have an idea of what I'm going to be making out of this blanket. Can you guess what it is? Well, if you read the title of this clip, you probably guessed that it's going to be a cape. Congratulations, you've been paying attention because we know very well that I probably haven't been. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I didn't calculate this correctly. Okay, whatever. To make this cape, I cut out a big 50 by 50 inch square for the body. If you want a bigger cape, just make sure that the length is long enough to cover your wingspan. And if you're not quite sure what a wingspan is, it's the length of your arm from one end to the other. I also wanted to make pockets, so I cut out two 16 by 6 inch pocket linings and four 6 by 3 inch pocket seals. I'm gonna redo those pieces because I clearly didn't measure them correctly. It's kinda good that this was big enough. Did I make 12? Oh shoot. Okay, well whatever, I overcompensated. After you've cut out all your pieces, this is what you should have that you'll be working with. Save any scraps of fabric as they'll come in handy for fixing any minor adjustments. <laughs> Gonna make space for my sewing machine. I don't even know if I have to write. I guess I have to write for gray. It's gray and it should work. Oh, look at that. I wonder if I totally ran out of the white. Oh, I did shorts. I wonder if the shorts were completed all the way through. Oh well, I will never know. Until the day I wear those shorts. I've only used this like twice already. I should know how to set this by now. Clearly I don't, as we watch me try to figure out how to thread and put it all together. Surprisingly, it wasn't too difficult. Am I doing it right? I think so. Ooh, well that's kind of bunched up. But I'll figure that out. Maybe I'll figure that out now before I continue any further. Time to get my Sin Reaper out. Okay. Take three. I don't know what's going on. I feel like this fabric might be a bit slippery and it's not sliding through that well. Or it could just be me not feeding it properly. Let me go backwards first and then forward. Seems to be working again. Good. Just make sure it looks okay. Yep, looks fine. Keep on trucking. Now that we're back on track, we'll sew the raw edges in about half an inch in on all four sides. Now I have to create some sort of neckline to find where the center is. To make the neckline, I folded the fabric in half and cut down the center. Stopping halfway to the fold, I measured 5 inches across the center and cut a half circle down from my neck. That took forever. I tried it on and it looks like it fits. The neckline is about right. So far, it's coming along. It's looking pretty decent. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. A bit shorter than I had expected. I was gonna do 4 inches, but 5 inches seems to work for my neck. It's looking okay. I still don't know what it's supposed to look like or what it's supposed to be. The next thing I did was sew in those raw edges up to the neckline. Then I measured and folded about two inches at the bottom and sealed those in as well. Now I'm not quite sure the purpose of that but it was an added step. Maybe you guys might have an idea as to why I did it. Totally made these a bit too big so now I'm gonna fold it in half like so and then cut them 
in half just to make them work. And this should be about 6 inches instead of the 12 inches. Figures always better! I forgot to mention that that piece was for the pocket lining, so I had to cut it in half. But like I said, bigger is always better because it's easier to take away rather than having to add in. Next, I folded the pocket seals along the long edges and sewed those together doing it for all four pieces. I then sewed a seal on the short edge on each of the pocket linings. Afterwards, I then folded the pocket linings in half and sewed it down along the edge to seal in the pockets. I'm actually really excited about this because I made pockets. I made pockets. I've never made pockets before. I don't know if this is even the right way of making a pocket. Pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I can attach these pockets to the bottom for five inches. About eight inches from there. Five, about eight. I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna mark. How do I mark? I mark this. Next, I cut the slits, adding two small V-cuts on each end so that it can be unfolded into a skinny rectangle. I folded the cape in half and used the cut as a guide to make the opening on the opposite side of the cape. This way, the pockets are lined up and symmetrical. I then pinned the pockets on the inside to prepare it to be sewn on. Now, what I forgot to record was me sewing the pockets onto the actual cape, so they'll magically appear on my cape on the next clip. But what you want to do is sew along the edge closer to the front of the cape first, and then sew the remaining three edges. Otherwise, if you sew it all together rather than separate, you'll actually sew in the openings of the pocket and your hands won't have anywhere to hide. It's slowly coming together. I got the pockets in. Pockets? Where are the pockets? Pockets are in. I just have to sew it so that it's not flapping everywhere. I feel like I need to do something with the neck piece. It just looks like I'm naked with it. Let's go and see. I was looking in my closet and I thought maybe I could find like a scarf that I no longer use as like a neck piece. No, I still use a lot of these scarves. Okay, I know what I'll do. I don't really want to cut up that nice, nice scarf. Yeah, it's a scarf. Came from Scotland. It's wool. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and then sew them together. Kind of like make one long piece out of this. At first I thought I wanted to make a scarf, but then I realized I didn't have enough fabric for this. So instead, I went with a collar. I sewed the two pieces of fabric together to make one long piece, and then sewed the two edges and flipped it inside out so that the raw edges were hidden inside. I then pinned the collar onto the cape, starting from the center of the back of the neck and making my way to the front. Once it was all in place, I then secured it with a straight stitch, which I forgot to record. Here is the end product. Put on a collar. I didn't end up making it into like a scarf. This is my little cape that I'll wear to work when I'm cold. I don't I don't know if I should add sleeves comment and just tell me if I should or not. I think it turned out okay. I do feel warm, but that could be because I've got sweater on and pants. And there you have it. That's how I transformed an old IKEA blanket into a man cape. First time for everything. And surprisingly, it's kept me very warm at work. I've even found a special use for those pockets. now because the people in the building over here, I don't know if you can still hear them, they're really like cheering me on. Totally embarrassed. <laughs>